Hey, welcome to this quick documentation tutorial on how to use our Photon 2 matchmaking add-on. This is by far our most popular item on our asset store. And so to make sure that everybody knows exactly how to use this add-on, I'm creating this video tutorial. Now to gain access to our Photon 2 matchmaking add-on, you'll first need to purchase it on our website at www.infogamerhub.com store. Now at the moment, normally this add-on costs $4, but if you become a supporter on our website, then you can get this download for free. Once you've purchased this product, you can then go to My Downloads up at the top, and you'll be able to see the four different packages that come with this product. We have the Quick Start, Delay Start, Custom Matchmaking, and Code Matchmaking. Now before you download any of these packages, you'll probably want to first think about what primary matchmaking system you want to have in your game and download that specific one. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use all four packages. So I'm going to download each of them. All right, once you have them all downloaded, you'll then want to go to your Unity project. Here I have just a new Unity project that's pretty much empty, except for I've already gone through the steps to import and set up the Photon PUN2 plugin, which is something that you'll need to do beforehand. If you don't know how to do this, you can watch the first half of the video linked in the description below. But now that I have this set up, I can show you how to use the different packages that I just downloaded. So first off, you're going to need to go up to the Assets drop-down menu and then select Import Package, Custom Package. You then need to navigate to the location where you saved your downloads, and I'm going to start with the Quick Start Matchmaking System. Once you select your package, the Import window should pop up, and I'm going to leave everything selected and click Import. Once it's imported, you should see a new folder called InfoGamer Assets, and inside that we have the PUN2 Matchmaking folder. Inside that folder, we have a general folder and a quick start folder. The general folder has assets that are used in all four of these packages. And the quick start folder has assets that are only used for the quick start matchmaking system. Now to get this package working with the included demo scenes, all you have to do is open up the build settings, then find the quick start menu demo scene and drag it into the scenes in build field. Then find the multiplayer scene, which is in the generals folder, and drag that into the scenes and build field. Once you've done that, we can then load into the quick start menu demo scene. Now, if you have the PUN2 plugin already installed and set up in your project, you can then click the play button. You should then be able to see the play now button enabled once you've connected to the Photon servers. And when you click this button, it should load you into the multiplayer scene where you'll be able to see that you have a Photon player game object, which is owned by the local player. Now you might already have a working main menu and game scene for your game that you then want to implement matchmaking into. To do this, it's really quite simple. You just need to go to the prefabs folder in the quick start folder where you'll see this Photon quick start prefab. Then all you have to do is select this prefab and drag it into your high hierarchy. This prefab is designed to be as plug and play as possible, and so you'll notice that it still works even though this is a new scene. To get your game scene set up for multiplayer, all you have to do is find the prefabs folder inside the general folder where you'll see a game setup prefab, and all you have to do is select this prefab and drag it into your game scene. This prefab is what's responsible for instantiating the player object into the multiplayer scene. So here I have this line of code where I'm instantiating the photon player. All you have to do is replace this photon player prefab, which is found in the resources folder, with your own networked player object. And that's how you use the quick start matchmaking add-on. Now of course you'll want to customize this menu system so that it looks like your menu system. Now the other packages are not much different than this one so I'm going to import the delay start package now. Here you can see that this package comes with many of the same assets but it adds this new delay start folder. So I'm going to click import I'm then going to open up the delay start menu demo scene and just as the quick start menu scene there's really only one unique object in the hierarchy, which is the Photon Delay Start Prefab. Now this package also has another scene, which is the Delay Start Waiting Room. 
And so to set up the build order for the delay start system, all you have to do is go to file, build settings, and then you want to replace the quick start menu demo with the delay start menu demo and the delay start waiting room. You then want to have the multiplayer scene demo as the third scene in the build. To add the system to your already developed project, all you have to do is go to the prefabs folder of the delay start folder. You then need to drag the photon delay start prefab into your menu scene and then customize this prefab so that it works with your already developed main menu. You can then create two instances of your game scene one to be the waiting room and one to be the multiplayer scene. To create the waiting room, all you have to do is drag the photon waiting room prefab into the scene that you want to have for your waiting room. You can then customize this prefab as much as you'd like. Then for the multiplayer scene, all you have to do is the same that I've already shown you for the quick start matchmaking system. You just need to drag in the game setup prefab to your multiplayer scene, and then replace this photon player prefab with your networked player object. For the custom matchmaking system, all it adds is this custom matchmaking folder, which I'm going to import. This package also works in the same way where we have this custom matchmaking demo scene, and then the same multiplayer scene. Setting up the build order is also pretty much the same. You just wanna make sure that the custom matchmaking menu scene comes first, and then the multiplayer scene. To set up your already existing menu scene with this custom matchmaking system, all you have to do is drag the photon custom matchmaking prefab into the hierarchy of your main menu. You can then customize this prefab so that it fits in with the rest of your main menu. And finally, we have the code matchmaking system, which adds the code matchmaking folder. Just like the other three packages, we have the code matchmaking menu demo. You can set up the build order by dragging this scene into the first position and then having the multiplayer scene be the second position. To add the code matchmaking system to your already developed main menu, you just need to drag the photon code matchmaking prefab into the hierarchy of that scene. You can then customize this prefab as much as you'd like so that it fits in with the rest of your main menu. And that's the basics on how to use our PUN2 matchmaking add-on. As you can see, I've tried to make this as simple as possible. So all you have to do is drag one single prefab into each scene of your game. You then just have to customize the visuals and settings of that prefab so that it works for your game. Now I hope this information will help all of you that will purchase this package. If you have any questions about this package, leave them in the comments below. And finally, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.